you can't mow right now. 12 year old Nathan Amato is quit. It's like you could be walking with them and he's gone and you have to really get after him and sometimes you just can't keep up. He's very fast. And he showed that Wednesday night. For the second time that they've had a look for him. Nathan's mom, Melissa Amato, says he has autism and other behavioral disorders. Around 7.45 Wednesday night, Nathan vanished. I agreed to let him go up to the park across the street here. Went up the ramp, I was home my newborn grandson, and he eventually was nowhere to be found within two minutes. I went up to the park, he was gone. That was when mom called La Vista police. He was on a bicycle and uh, he had been gone for uh, about two and a half hours. His uh, bicycle ended up uh, becoming disabled and uh, he was out on foot. Luckily, Nathan is part of a program called Project Lifesaver. He wears a tracking device. It's not GPS, but it's a radio beacon that helps first responders narrow down the missing person's location. We actually had a uh, team that was within a block where the young man was at. So when a KETV viewer saw Nathan's photo on social media and called police, rescuers were just moments away, leading to a happy reunion with Nathan back safe at home. There's, there's a huge sense of relief, uh, especially for the, the, the officers that were out there on the search parties looking for somebody. Moving forward, Nathan will continue to wear his tracking bracelet. Do you understand now that what you did was wrong? And Amato says she's working with CPS, but insists she's doing everything she can as a mother. I don't leave him alone when we're outside. It's me or my fiance when he visits me. We are always with him, but he's that quick. The Project Lifesaver team includes officers from Bellevue, La Vista, and Papillion Police Departments, along with the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office. Omaha Police Department says they're currently working to finalize a partnership with Project Lifesaver as well. Live in the newsroom, Quinita Fraser, KETV Newswatch 7.